Good morning everyone. So if this isn't worth a subscribe, then I don't know what is. Obviously I do a lot of mods. Uh, I kind of like working on my cars, but unless it's an issue, I won't just mod it for the sake of you know, turning the car apart and potentially breaking something. Anyways, the issue I had with the, uh, the Cheetah is the, uh, the CVD joint, the tiny, minute grub screw that you get in it. It rounded off, I couldn't get it out, so I had to tap it out. Uh, kind of couldn't use it, so I thought, you know, I'm going to need new parts, but there were always new new parts, not on mods. Anyways, I've been looking at the Typhon, that's why the Typhon's in the thumbnail, this one's been in a, a week in the making, and, and to be honest, I think it's a better idea. Um, I'll explain to you why. This is probably a bit bold of me considering I'm a nobody. Um, so I'll spin you around anyways, right? And I'll give you a look, the explanations, everything like that. So thanks for bearing with us. And if this one doesn't make you laugh or anything like that, and it's not worth a subscribe, then I think I'll just give up. <laughs> but anyways, bear with us, guys. So I took my wheel off, and with my 1.5mm air hex, I went to put it in. And I couldn't get it off and the hex had actually rounded and the pin was stuck. So what I've done is I took a 3.5mm drill bit and using the rear of it, it slots in there nicely and I just lightly tapped that with a hammer. Obviously it'll damage your drill bit but who cares. I lightly tapped it around with a hammer and what that'll do is, is it'll help push back down the metal that's come like kind of rounding out around the edges. It will push it back down. But what you don't want to do is, is don't put that hex back in. Find something quite similar, yeah, I mean, just make those out. Find something of similar size, but it's got to be like a star shape like that, yeah? And when you put it in, just lightly turn it, and with your fingers you'll feel it start grabbing those rough edges. And once it grabs on where you kind of think, yeah, that's good, get a hammer, start striking that. And that'll actually start forming into the, a new head. And what that allowed me to do is, is just get enough of that cracked off that the pin came out. So obviously this hasn't got the issue on this side, so I can just pop that out like that. So unfortunately, I was still left with the pin inside. So I took a 1.5mm drill bit and I drilled out the centre of that pin. Yeah, the grub screw, sorry. Then I took a 2mm drill bit and I drilled it out some more and luckily for me what happened is is the grub screw managed to bind to the drill bit and push itself out into the cavity of that because it's such a small grub screw it kind of worked, it, it just worked out nicely so that fell out so I cleared the hole what I decided to do then so then what I'd done was knowing that it was an M3 but being so small I thought to myself I'll replace it with a screw like that. So this is where it's come from. And believe it or not, it just screwed in absolutely perfectly. All the way in. So once it cleared the, the cavity of the pin, it didn't damage the screws in any way, the thread, sorry. And I could replace it with that but there was still a gap. So I wasn't too happy with the gap, obviously it looked absolutely hideous. So what I've got here is these are three mil by seven mil O-rings. That's a seven mil by three, uh, three mil by seven mil, sorry. And these washers here are three mil by six. So I put the washer on first, then the O-ring, just like that. So I put my pin back in. Let's get over the top of here. And then as soon as I started screwing it in, it just pinched lovely. The O-ring takes up that little bit of slack. Let's get this. And then not just that, you're also getting to use a bigger hex head. Now you're using a 2mm hex head rather than a 1.5 and that there is how it looks with the o-ring just getting pinched just a tiny little bit and that pin will not come out just so you can see so that is well in there 
So, stick your wheel back on. Oh, nuts of it. There we are. So, stick your nut back on. Right. Now, if you guys can see that, that there to me is a much better mod on this car, and probably if you took the one out of your Typhon and put a longer one in, if that were to round off, if that hex were to round off, I can now grab that with a pair of pliers and take that out. No fuss whatsoever. So what I'll do is, I'll do the rest of the car, and then I'll show you. Well, if you have getting this far, this is what it looks like. I've put some M4s on the back, because I ran out of M3s. On the front, it's got the M3 there with the O-ring as well. The O-ring is going to stop dirt getting in, so that's a bonus. Everybody likes a bit of a bonus. It'll keep your car nice and clean. Um, what can I say, guys? Subscribe. I mean, it's well worth it. It's dead simple. If you have watched it this far, you will understand. If you haven't had an issue with the grub screw getting stuck and you haven't had to replace a CVD joint or anything like that, um, you can take your grub screws out now, go to your cheetah now, take your grub screws out and start getting this type of mod fitted up. It's going to save you a lot of trouble in the future guys. So if you like that one, subscribe, like, leave a comment as well and definitely share so everybody who's got a JLB cheetah can benefit from this one. And as always guys, I'll see you in the next one.